It's so delightful. It smells super high quality. Honey is okay, Chris. <laughs> this is this is good. It is a really, really pretty scent. I can see why this one is getting all of the compliments. Oh, this is very sexy. This fragrance is called The Boss by Christopher Lee Fragrances, but I had to reach out to them on Instagram and tell them, your fragrance is bomb. Like, that's good. I'm a money magnet. Draped in designer. I stay high fashion. Kiss you bougie. No, I'm high maintenance. Give me a second. This is good. It's real good. All right, I'm on. what's up with it, y'all? So I'm realizing that a lot of fragrance companies are releasing woody fragrances. Like, since when y'all start doing that? So what I did was I got three of the most popular woody fragrances that is out right now for the designer houses. Okay, we got Blue de Chanel Parfum, One Million Gold by Paco Rabanne, and we're gonna talk about Prada. Ocean Lay Parfum. I sold it. I was looking for the decan. I can't find a decan. But luckily, I watched my old review of it. I watched my old review of it and I just remember how I smell. So let me talk to y'all now. Blue D Chanel Parfum is really loved by women. I know this is a fragrance everybody talk about wearing for like work, but I wear this for like cuddle time, laying in the bed, going to sleep, date night. This fragrance got that lemon zest, that bergamot, that mint, that lavender, pineapple, geranium, sandalwood, cedar, amberwood. What else they got? Tonka bean. This fragrance is beautiful. When you first smell it, you getting like this lemony wood. That lemon wood is the whole DNA of this whole fragrance. That lemony wood lasts for a very long time. You can smell the lavender a little bit. You can smell the geranium a little bit. Like it's very clean. It's very classy. It's one of them fragrances that is just a classic fragrance for masculine men, for work men, for any man out there, is a banger. Now, let me talk about the new Paco Rebond One Million Gold. The bottle is just different. Like, what the hell is this supposed to be? Like a little door knock thing? Now, when it comes to this fragrance, when you spray it, it's going to remind you a lot like Blue de Chanel Parfum. Because when you spray this, you get that sandalwood. You get them woody nuances that Blue de Chanel give you. But like I said, Blue de Chanel has like a lemony wood. This has like a more sweeter, creamier tangerine wood. This fragrance is more subtle. It sits close to the skin. It's more elegant, classy. It just smells like money. Blue de Chanel Parfum is clean, soapy, fresh. This is more like creamy wood, milky wood. Like, it just smelled like a real feminine tree. Like, it's just so weird. Like, I never smell a woody fragrance smell feminine. Usually, woody fragrances smell masculine. But this is, like, one of the first woody fragrances that's, like, feminine. They just give off, like, this calmness, this richness. Very different. One Million Gold is, like, the next generation of what Blue de Chanel Parfum was when they when it first came out. Now, when it came to the Prada Ocean, Le Parfum, it smelled really close to the original Ocean. A lot of marine notes, very aqua. But the Le Parfum is just woody, bro. But I always knew that Burberry Hero Parfum was the better woody fragrance between Prada Ocean and Le Parfum. Both of them woody fragrances smelled kind of similar, so I kind of called them the same for real. And if I was going to pick a fragrance, I wouldn't even get Prada Le Parfum. If you want a woody fragrance, just get Burberry Hero Parfum if you like the ocean DNA. But Prada Ocean Le Parfum pales in comparison to getting a lot of compliments and getting love and feeling really sophisticated like the new Paco Rebind of Blue de Chanel. Prada Ocean Le Parfum just smelled like a poor copycat of Blue de Chanel Parfum. Like. So if you was thinking about getting Prada Ocean Le Parfum as a woody fragrance, I wouldn't get it. I'll focus on these two as some sexy woody fragrances. Blue de Chanel Parfum is more for a sophisticated businessman with a lovely wife at home that loves her man and everything like that, right? So I would call this very mature. 
But the brand new Paco Rebond 1 million gold is sexier. It's more elegant. It just screams, have sex with me. Like these are made for two different types of men. If you a man that wear a suit, but you still kind of lovey-dovey and you love your wife and you go home to her, you got like a business job and a couple businesses, you wear Blue de Chanel because it evokes more of a more serious tone. It gives more masculine, I'm not playing with you. The one million gold give off a, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Let's have some fun. I'm masculine, but I'm soft. It's a whole different vibe. Like you could tell this dude is wearing fladoras, a button up shirt that's open with no shirt on, some shorts, and some low top loafers. This dude is in a suit. And in my opinion, the type of dude I am, I'm probably gonna be like in my suit game more often. But when I'm ready to get down to nasty, I'm gonna put on this Paco Rebound 1 million gold. Woody fragrances are always masculine fragrances. But when it comes to these designer houses, I will grab both of these fragrances and put them in your collection. They neck and neck. You just need them for two different occasions. And let's not talk about how good it smells when you mix these two together. All right, y'all, I'm Big Boss. Top Woody fragrances, I love them. These is the top two, in my opinion, when it comes to Woody fragrances. And the designer houses don't even have a lot of Woody fragrances, but these are making a comeback, all right? If y'all like this review, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all learned something. I'm Big Boss, and I'm out.